it's it's now back to back days it's gotten rejected at the top of the channel right back to back days that's not a good thing right that's that's not really welcome to access a trader the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success profitability and longevity thank you for joining us here's dan shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to uh, a special edition of uh, the access trader.com uh, nightly update show usually again i don't do uh updates thursday nights um my daughter had a game yesterday so i had to rearrange my schedule again if you have uh, young kids or active kids you kind of know that at any moment uh, their life uh, is much more important than yours so you have to kind of rearrange uh, your schedule so let's talk about let's kind of review from what happened yesterday um look we, we had a really good two-day very organic right if we've been watching uh this this uh, this video for the last few days you've seen we had a nice couple of day back test to the 10 day moving average again nobody was calling for armageddon or any of that good stuff i would have preferred like i said on uh, tuesday's video i would have preferred one more day down to that 313 level but again listen it, it's a bull market and you know again we don't get out of we don't get everything what we want out of life we sure as hell don't get everything we want out of trading so you kind of had to do our best so yesterday uh cpi came out um, you know, phenomenal move. I mean, you're talking about a big, big 500 point move on the Dow, 350 point move on the NASDAQ. Everything lost its mind yesterday, gapped and pretty much uh, stood at its range for the next uh, four or five hours or so. Just a big, big move. Again, this is what a, a bull market is. You know, it has a big move up and then it retraces a couple of days on light volume. Again, you can even see the volume uh, for the last few days before yesterday's, uh, yesterday's move. And then you kind of resume and then you know a lot of people just don't know you know just don't have a lot of answers but but that's kind of what what a trend is the same way uh, the trend is to the downside here's a situation you lost the 50-day moving average you go down 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 you have a couple of days of up which is the opposite of a couple of days of down in the bull market and then you resume the downward pressure right a couple of days up resume the downward pressure a couple of days up resume the downward pressure so forth and so on and that's the same carbon copy just a flip image on the way up again we reclaim 296 uh, 75 you know you have days up you have a few days down more days up a few days down more days up rest repeat rinse repeat rest repeat rinse repeat and that's exactly what happened today uh today was uh, a prototypical inside day of what happened with yesterday's uh really really big move matter of fact if you see the volume right if you see the, the last two bars on the bottom chart here you can see that yesterday's volume was a whole lot more than it was today on the on the downside and if you look at uh, the scoreboard, the, you know, NASDAQ put up a 350 point move yesterday and the NASDAQ was down 70 points today. So you're talking about a quarter of, you know, a quarter of the retrace from, from yesterday's gains. Uh, you had, again, the prototypical rest day action. You had strong moves uh, in the morning following through, like, for example, Shopify, uh, really nice move today, right? You had Shopify coming out of a channel here, really, really strong move. You can see it on the 60 minute view. As if easing lever could turn so shopify finally took out this 4260 level really had a big move it almost traded up to uh 46 it's a really really strong move uh same thing with with nvidia you know some of these stocks really woke up here you can see you know stocks coming out of the channels here but you also saw a lot of names rested a well-deserved rest and again you're not going to get you're not going to get um, every single day worth of upward bias uh, in a bull market and you sure as hell you're not going to get every single day in a downward bias uh, but the point is to know the overall scheme to know the overall direction of the market and again I've been saying this for a long time if you're a first time visitor uh, to uh, this this webcast uh, welcome first of all welcome uh, you know we try to like well, I keep on saying we I try to give a pretty much no bias you know opinion of what the market is what the market is what the market is right anything above this light blue line which is the 50-day moving average is long-term or medium-term or short-term bullish once we get below right once we get below here and we go lower so again it, it, you don't need to rationalize you call it what you want uh but it's very very tough to kind of continue to call this a dead cat bounce you know very very tough uh you know you have two three days okay you have two three days above a 50-day moving average that's not a dead cat bounce anymore that's just the beginning of a new trend and that's exactly where we are uh almost let's see here where do we reclaim we reclaimed on july the 18th today is august the 11th so you're talking about three weeks right at the end of this week will be nearly 
a month full of data above the 50-day moving average. That's a trend, right? That's an absolute trend. So call it what you want, potato, potato, um, you know, whatever you want. The, the moral of the story is stocks continue to go higher. They continue to digest uh, bad news. And until we close below the 50-day moving average, and again, this is where you've learned from the past, right? You learn from uh, what happened just a few months ago, you know, anytime we close below the 50, that's a sell signal. You want to be out of your positions and risk is off on the long side. And you start becoming sell buys with some pretty good downward channels and the opposite goes from the upside as well. So going into tomorrow, look, I, I, I think you, if you look at a lot of charts, uh, if you look at a lot of charts today, um, you know, they, they do look tired. And again, when I mean they, they look tired, they don't mean they're shorts. They just mean they, they look tired. A lot of these stocks I uh, had pretty big runs. Um, I think you have to start looking at other places. Uh, number one, you know, there are a couple of shorts that I do like. And, and again, it, it's very counterproductive to talk about shorts uh, in a bullish environment. But, but again, if a stock doesn't go up and keeps on getting rejected off the same level, don't we have to start looking on the way down? So for example, let's use a symbol, random symbol. Let's just call it O Tesla, right? Very random. So if you guys notice, it's it's now back to back days. It's gotten rejected at the top of the channel, right? Back to back days. That's not a good thing, right? That's that's not really something you turn around and go, oh, you know, that's that's phenomenal. You know, it's going to go higher. Yeah, you want it to go higher, but it keeps, still needs to get above this channel here. So I always, you know, I'm always in the believer of whatever doesn't go up must go down. It doesn't necessarily need to go down. And when I mean down, only for a trade. The same way we talked about potential back tests a couple of days ago when Tesla had that nice run to the 10-day moving average. You know, look, if the market is going to back test, at least we have a clear channel, right? At least we have this whole clear channel. Forget about this wick here. We have this whole clear channel of data to, to work with. So if it takes out this bottom channel here, yeah, I mean, no, again, nobody's calling for Tesla to go down to 600. I think what, what Elon is doing is phenomenal. I don't know. There's, 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 there's um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's rumors that he's still selling stock. Who the hell knows? Again, technical analysis is everything. So if it starts violating this whole channel here, you know, why can't it start uh, going back down to the bottom of the channel here, right? Just, just for a trade, right? No, no, again, nobody's looking for a, a bigger, a, a bigger thesis than it actually is. Again, we trade channels. We trade upside channels, downside channels. It doesn't make a difference to me which way, as long as there's measured potential and I see bias in that direction via uh, option order flow and uh, technical analysis. And even a name like Coinbase, for example, right? You look at Coin and you say to yourself, okay, you know, Coin had a really, really good run. They had that Blackstone uh, catalyst, had a really too big day run, but, but look what today did, right? Today took out one, two, three, four, five days worth of buying, right? So if you look at the 60 minute view, if it starts taking down this channel here, just for a trade, right? Just for a trade, why can't this thing uh, come in as well, right? You're not gonna find a lot of clear channels because the market's been so good. So you have to do your research. You have to kind of do your due diligence to kind of see, well, where, where are the, who, who are the ones that are sticking out, right? Where are the stocks that are, that are sitting there and saying, well, look, we didn't go up with this rally in the last three, four days. Well. Let's take the other side of the equation. Maybe we finally confirm back to the downside and start making our moves down. So the coin I'm watching, Tesla I'm watching. If you are looking to the upside, right? Uh, the group that you should really start watching is these energy names, right? Um, you know, go through, if you go through the energy stocks, I'll give you a couple of names, but if you go through the energy stocks, take a look, right? You got Devon Energy, looks really, really good, right? First close today above the 50 day moving average. Look at Valero, right? You got Valero. Valero has gotten rejected three times at the 50-day moving average. Remember the 50-day moving average, how important it is? The same way it's important in technology, the same way it's important in everything else. You know, Valero looks good. Look at look at uh, NOV, right? National Oil Well, right? Look, look at this chart. It's some really good looking charts. So the oil, uh, oil um, energy space looks really, really good. Uh, even the financials, financials we talked about a couple of days ago, moving nicely. Here's a name you know that I like, look at Schwab, right? Look at Schwab here, coming out of a nice long base here. If this thing confirms this whole channel here, why can't this thing have uh, another day up? So yeah, you're not gonna find a lot of great looking setups. 
to the upside in technology tomorrow just because they came off uh, so much from today's highs, you know, so they need some time to rest. So even if they come in tomorrow, don't look at the names that are coming off from the middle of the channel. Look at the names, again, like a coin, like a Tesla. So if they do confirm the downside, you will have some pretty good value. And again, if all the stocks out there wouldn't, you know, coin, you know, Tesla, there's some pretty good ranges in these stocks. Again, you don't need many uh, to kind of make hay. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. It's Thursday. Uh, hope everybody has a great uh, trading session on uh, Friday. If you are uh, planning to join us uh, next week uh, via the live webinar or uh, just kind of a, a reminder or uh, the audio Twitter feed uh, where you hear literally six hours of me talking comment, commentary nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. You're going to hate my, my voice <laughs> if you don't already. Um, if you are planning to join us, please over the weekend, because uh, there's no, obviously there's no video tomorrow, please over the weekend, uh, watch the workshops, there's two workshops, it, it's, it, there's, there's incredible amounts of important information, you need to understand the moving parts, that you could, you, you could kind of connect the dots, and have things eventually go seamless. Guys, have a great night, God bless, have an awesome day tomorrow, have a great weekend, and God's help, I'll see you on Monday, take care.